Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and in this tutorial we are going to create this cartoon monster animation in After Effects. So this tutorial is divided into two parts. So in part 1 we will design this character in After Effects and in part 2 we will animate it within After Effects as well. So make sure to watch both the parts. So without wasting any further ado, let's get started. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and before we begin, the original artwork is designed by Alex Johnson and I just recreated it in After Effects and after that did some animation on top of it. So all the credits goes to him. Now let's begin. So first we are going to make this artwork in After Effects. So let's create a new composition. So let's call this character. Width and height will be 1920 by 1080. Frame rate we can set this to 30 FPS and rest of the things will remain same. Just click on OK. So first I'm going to create a solid. So let's right click solid for a background and let's pick a really nice blue color, something like this. After that, I'm going to select the rounded rectangle tool. Now let's create our shape. So you can just simply click and drag. Make sure to hold down the shift key so that it will create a perfect square. Let's quickly align it in the center. You can get the align panel from windows and from here you can enable it. Now we can select this and let's go inside the rectangle path. And from here we can increase the size to something like this. After that let's change the roundness. So let's play with it and I think yeah something like this looks good. Now we can select this and let's increase its stroke. So this is completely up to you. You can set whatever value you want. So yeah I think this is looking fine. We can maybe increase its size something like this. Now we have our base and we are ready to add a bunch of different shapes. So first I'm going to create its eye. Let's select the ellipse tool. Now you can click and drag. Make sure to hold down the shift key. And after that we can align it into the center as well. Now I'm going to quickly change its color to white. Just click on OK. Now we can select this and let's go under the ellipse path. And I'm going to increase its size to something like this. After that we can probably change its proportion. And we can just make it little bit something like this. Now I am going to select the pen tool and we are going to draw a line. So just simply click and hold down the shift key and just draw a line. Make sure that it has a stroke and let's set its color to this color. After that we can select the line and let's search for cap and let's change the butt cap to round cap so that we have these really nice round edges. Now we can probably select this and we can place it into the center of this form just like this. Now we can select the eye and we can move this above. Now we can hide the top part of the eye by simply creating another shape layer. So let's select the rectangle tool and let's just quickly draw it. I'm going to change its stroke to zero and let's quickly place it something like this and let's place it below the line just like that. So now you can see we have cut the top part. Now I'm going to quickly rename my layers. So let's call this base and this one is eye and this one is mask and this one is line or eyebrow. We can also change their color. So I'm going to change the base color to something like brown and let's select all the layers which are corresponding to eye. Let's make them pink. Now let's select the ellipse tool and I'm going to create another circle. Something like this and let's make this black and let's place it below the mask something like this we can probably select this and we can press s and let's scale this up if you think that the eye is too small then you can go inside this size and let's increase its size something like this now i'm going to just increase this little bit just like that so over here we have our eye and we can select this and press ctrl d to duplicate it let me just quickly change its color to white and let's play around with its scale. So I'm going to make this smaller. And after that we can place it somewhere around here. Press Ctrl D to duplicate it. And let's place it somewhere around here. I'm going to press S and let's make this smaller. Something like this. So yeah, I think this is looking fine. We can probably change its position just like that. Let's quickly change their color. So I'm going to make them pink as well. And let's rename them to eye detail. So we are done with our eye. Let me just quickly select the eye base and let's call this pupil. Again, I'm going to change its color to pink. Now we can select the eye base layer and let's press Ctrl D to duplicate it. After that, we can search for size. And let's just increase its size, something like this. And on this one, we can set the fill to none. 
and after that we can add trim path and let's trim the line and we can play around with the offset now this is completely up to you you can play around with these values perfect now we can select this and let's search for cap and again i'm going to change this to round cap so now you can see we have ri and now let's quickly create its face for that i'm going to duplicate the eyebrow and let's just change its color so i'm going to make this yellow and let's place it below something like this and let's call this mouth and after that we can select the base layer and press ctrl d to duplicate it and let's place it on top of all the layers and let's quickly change its color to white and we are going to make this smaller so that we can create a teeth so let's make this smaller and you will notice that it has now become a circle so we can fix that by going inside the rectangle and let's decrease the roundness let me just quickly zoom in and now let's decrease the size as well something like this and let's place it over here so yeah i think this is looking fine and the last step is to add the hair so for that what i'm going to do is we are going to just simply select the pen tool and let's zoom in after that you can click and just create a line something like this and we can change the fill and let's set this to none after that increase the stroke and let's change the stroke color to the character color we can probably increase its length also we can set the cap to rounded like this now we can create one more here so just click somewhere around here and let's click over here and let's search for cap and change its cap to rounded as well so now we have two hairs and the last step is to add the outline to it so now to do that let's select these and let's place it somewhere around here now i'm going to press ctrl d to duplicate it let's select the base layer and let's change its color to black and after that let's increase the stroke and make sure that these two strokes match with each other something like this so in order to fix this cut we can just again place them below our mask something like this and we have to just increase the mask size so for that i'm going to first move the anchor point to the bottom just like this let's press s and i'm going to just increase its y value so that it barely touches the head something like this so now you can see that we have created our hairs as well and we are almost done with our character now we can add some detailings to it like highlights and shadows so for that i'm going to quickly create a shape layer so let's click over here and let's click somewhere around here after that let's randomly create a shape something like this let's change the stroke to zero and we can select this and let's set the mode to multiply and we can add the fill and let's change the fill color to this same color now we can add set matte effect to this so search for set matte and drag it onto this after that let's change the set mat to base so there you go now you can see we have our shadow and we can probably select this and let's call this shadow now the last step is to add the highlight so in order to do that i'm going to select the base and let's press ctrl d twice so that we have two copies and let's select the middle one and i'm going to change its color to white and we can select this and let's change the track mat to alpha inverted now we can select the alpha mat and we can just simply move it using the arrow keys and you can see that it will start appearing something like this so there you can see we have the really nice highlight edge and we are pretty much done with our character so if you want you can add more details to this but for this tutorial let's stick with this so we are done with our character and this is the end of part one and in part two we will see how to animate this so if you want to watch the part two you can click here or you can click the link in the description below so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in part two